Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the quick guide how to remove the Pelerin jailbreak completely from your iPhones or iPad. If you have watched my Pelerin jailbreak video and jailbroken your device on iOS 15 or iOS 16 and you have selected the tethered jailbreak or semi-tethered jailbreak and in semi-tethered they have taken the up to 10 GB of space of your device and now you have decided to completely remove from your device and do the clean root FS and completely remove the Pelerin jailbreak from your device. So this video is for you. You can follow the same guide and easily remove the Pelerin jailbreak all right now i'm on my mac so i will take the help of command from my mac system but if you are a windows user and you run the linux to install the pelerin the same process for the linux user also so you can follow the same step-by-step -step process for the linux user also and you will get all these command written in the command file that i've given with the pelerin video so you can download and read the instruction now first let me just open the pelerin folder First you need to get the path on the Pelerin folder. So go inside that and give the cd Pelerin command or drag and drop the Pelerin folder on the terminal and then you are in the Pelerin path. Now once you are in Pelerin directory, you can see all the content file. Now first you need to run the git pull command so that all the new packages will be downloaded from their official github profile. So you just need to run the git pull after that hit on enter and it will just fetch all the new packages and new version from their official github repository and update inside that folder. So you don't have to download again and again the new palerin folder. Now after that you are ready to use the command. So the command that is remove the palerin jailbreak from your iphone that is dot slash palerin dot sh give space and give your ios version so let me just run that command i have both the devices one is from ios 15 and another one is for ios 16 so i will remove on both these ios so that you will know that the ios 15 and ios 16 works well so let me just connect first ios 15 and then i will do on the ios 16 as well Now if you directly connect in the normal mode and run the command, you will see your device will go into the recovery mode directly or if you know how to put your device into DFE mode, just put directly that and run the command. So now it start verifying the device and the status. So now just put your device into the DFE mode. Now after that press any key to continue. So now you can see it start removing the RAM days and all removing the leftovers inside your device that are linked with the Pelerin jailbreak. So just wait for it to get complete. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes according to your speed of your internet. So now you can see it start removing the jailbreak and after the jailbreak remove your device will automatically reboot to the home screen so just wait for it to get complete. So now you can see the device is on again but still you will see the Pelerin loader and seal you on your home screen but the jailbreak is removed and you can see that all the apps and jailbreak loader is crashing. Also if you use the semi threaded method the fake storage and extra storage that I've taken from the Pelerin jailbreak is also been removed but still you will see the Pelerin loader and the icon on the home screen because there is no way with the rootfs command you can remove this right now but in future this will be also fixed. So for now you can remove it and send to the app library like this but in future if the Pelerin team will fix this with the rootfs command and delete all this leftover icon that would be also great otherwise you need to completely restore your device. 
So by this way you can remove the bell ring jailbreak from your device. Now let me try it on my another iPhone that is iPhone 8 that is running on the latest iOS 16.2. This is also jailbroken with a bell range jailbreak and I have installed the Cydia and other installer. So now let me just run that command and enter the 16.2 iOS version. Now connect your device and the same process goes on. So now you can see it's done. Now you can clean all the leftover icons to the app library or you can stay like this or you can bind all that in the single folder. Like as I mentioned this can be fixed by the Pelerin team in the future to remove all these icons after the rootfs command. But currently only this way is available otherwise you need to completely flash or restore your device. So that's how you can use this rootfs command and easily remove the Pelerin jailbreak from your device. You can download all these command lists from my Pelerin jailbreak video. So that is all for today's session, I will see you in another video, so till then goodbye, take care and peace out.